Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker. I am back for another video. This is September 2019. I'm not giving a date because I'm not sure I'll be able to edit this video, but I did order over Labor Day weekend a black lock skillet from Lodge. Yep, a brand new skillet from Lodge. And uh, the reason why I did this is because the new line offers some advantages that the regular fare that they have the cheaper but heavier fare that they have it just has more advantages that I found appealing. I've seen several YouTube videos on un unboxings and so forth, and I was intrigued by Cast Iron Chaos's video, uh, which he unboxed one, and that was the one I purchased. So without further ado, I'll get into it and explain. Oh, I'll un unbox this. I actually remove the box first just to make it go a little bit more quickly but they shipped this UPS ordered it August 31st and I received it on September 5th and I'm now just out now opening it so I'm going to go ahead and remove that they double boxed it it comes in another box and here is the black lock uh, it's really nice attractive box so they double box it and the box is just big enough for the skillet and here is the skillet and I ordered a 90, it's, a, it's called a 96 skillet. I'm not sure why it's called the 96. They were actually founded in 1896, so that's kind of cool. And they have a little booklet here, which we'll go ahead and briefly look at. Um, it basically has their timeline. They actually started in 1896 as Blacklock Foundry. I did a little research before I ordered this. They had a fire which burned down the foundry in 1910, and when they came back from that, they came back as Lodge Foundry. So that's when Lodge was born, but they are originally Blacklock. I thought that was extremely interesting. And then in the back of the um, little booklet here that they give you with that, there's a newspaper, a copy of a newspaper article explaining about the fire. Happened, looks like May 26, 1910. So, at any rate, that's kind of neat. They give you a little booklet there of the history. And then the skillet that I ordered, I'll go ahead and take it out of the box so we can see it better. Go ahead and put that down there. And they, I ordered a, it's, a, it's actually a 10.25 uh, inch pan. Go ahead and hold it up so you can see it. 10.25 inch or 26 centimeter pan from Lodge. And it's a 96, that's the model number, is a 96, it's triple seasoned, it's lightweight. And the reason why I ordered this, guys, is three reasons. Number one, I've been looking for a chef skillet. Chef skillet has more sloped sidewalls that you can eat more easily slide out what you're cooking from the pan. It's lighter. And the handle here it has, you know, a different design to allow it to cool or stay cool so you can actually hold the handle during cooking without having to use a mitt or a handle, you know, protector, cover, that kind of thing. And also the, the uh, cook surface is supposed to be more smooth. So from other unboxing videos, I saw one person that when they tried to remove this, it actually took off some of the seasoning. I really, really would not be happy if that happened. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blow dryer and I'm going to go ahead and blow dry it right here where the glue is. Try to get it hot and then I'll peel it off. So here we go. Okay, now I just peeled that off. And this is the glue that my hot air blow dryer was able to warm up so it would come right off. There we go, beautiful. Now the reason why I did that, you know, I, a lot of times I have to remove stickers and labels from boxes when I ship things out. I'm an online reseller and it works like a charm so I figured it worked for this. But I saw somebody actually peel it off and it took off the seasoning there. That's just not, not, not good. <laughs> anyway, is this pan smoother? Well, let's take a look and see. Uh, first of all, it is lighter, and we're going to go ahead and compare and contrast. I got a traditional 
about, the, maybe this is slightly larger. This is a number eight lodge. And this is, you know, their modern, doesn't have an assist handle, but it is a number eight skillet. You can see that there with a recessed heat ring. And then we have a, a Dutch oven that I purchased when I was brand new to cast iron. And I liked it because it would double as a skillet when you take the, the lid off. And I actually stripped this and refinished it. But you can hear it's still, you know, I tried to sand it down to make it smoother. But you can definitely uh, hear that. And then you pick this up. That's how they come, the modern log. You can hear that. But you can still cook on it. You can definitely still cook on it. It will, you know, if you cook properly and allow heat and, and fat to be on your pan before you try to put food on it, it should be, it is usually nonstick. Now this one here, it is smoother, definitely smoother. Not as bad as that, for sure. And then here, I did sand this one down. So this is almost as smooth as a vintage skillet because I took an Avanti Pro uh, disc from Home Depot and I sanded this one down. And that one is just, I love this pan, but it doesn't have the sidewalls, that one does. So now we're gonna go ahead and this, we're gonna go ahead and examine this one, then we'll weigh it and compare it to the others. But it's definitely, definitely lighter. And it's a chef skillet, so you can easily flip things out of the skillet if you're making an omelet. Now it does have a couple of pieces of, I've noticed, I don't know if it's uh, seasoning or whatnot, but I am gonna wash it out. They claim you can use soap with this. I wouldn't recommend it all the time until you build up the layers of seasoning, but I'm gonna, I am gonna wash this out before I try to cook with it. And this shows, okay, it has, let me see the handle close up so you can see it. That says black lock. Then over here it says, see if we can see it, USA 1896. So a very attractive pan, and that seasoning will fill in over time, but it's smoother than the, the traditional cheaper line of skillets from Lodge, but not as smooth as vintage, but you can still cook with it. I got it primarily for the sidewalls and the fact that it's lighter and then the handle can stay lighter because of the design allows more air to circulate in and about. Then we turn it over on the back. It looks a little splotchy, but I really like the design of the back. So like I said, I'm not sure what happened, you know, why it's splotchy. So um, with seasoning, it probably will, will fill in. Just want to make sure it's smooth it's not i mean i'm just going to wash it out and i'm going to see what happens and if the soap starts to remove some of the seasoning where i don't like it i'll contact customer service but i do like the back the design of the back of the skillet it's got black lock established 1896 south pittsburgh tennessee and it says the original lodge foundry i think it's kind of neat because these are the first skillets that they're putting out now with black lock on them so who knows we're going to go ahead and weigh this uh, puppy and see how much it weighs and it's very light very easy for me to use and i have a postal scale here which weighs up to 70 pounds we're going to go ahead and weigh our skillet and i'll show you the weight the weight is three pounds 15.4 ounces so just a hair under four pounds. This one is a more traditional, it's heavy. Only advantage with heavy skillets, I do like this one. It'll retain the heat longer. So if you're cooking scrambled eggs and you're, you're stopping cooking and you take it off the burner and all that, it'll keep them warm a lot longer if it's heavier. But we're gonna go ahead and weigh this guy. And this one weighs five pounds, 10.6 ounces. So even though I sanded the bottom of this, it's still very heavy, but uh, that's just to show you the difference in smoothness. Now this one here is very heavy. And you can see that's chocolatey brown, I stripped it. And if you wanna look at the bottom, I didn't really do anything with the bottom, it's still black the way it came when I ordered it. And when you strip them properly and redo them, they're gonna look chocolatey brown, just a side note. 
But this thing I did use as a skillet for a while. I did uh, smooth out the the uh, skillet itself. We're going to go ahead and weigh it. And this one is, wow. This one is six pounds, 11.4 ounces. So I haven't really used this much at all. Um, I usually just store it this way. And you can see I haven't used that probably in two years. Um, and it's perfectly fine. Didn't rust anything. As long as you take proper care of your skillets and you store them in a humidity controlled area, they'll be just fine. So this one here, um, you know, we'll see how it cleans up. And I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to come back and cook an omelet in this. And I'll let you guys see that, and then uh, it'll, I'll give you my uh, uh, review of how I think this skillet is going to be. But I, I do like the lightness of it. I wanted to have one. I just wish the back, and maybe in time the seasoning will fill in, but there's some shiny bits of seasoning there, and just, I don't know what happened uh, when they were doing this one. But we're going to see what happens, and I will be back.